When I think of missed opportunities in railroading history, two things often come to mind. One, of course, being the amount of steam engines that were scrapped rather than preserved. And two, when British Rail combined two Class 08s and called it the Class 13 instead of the Class 16, which may have already existed at the time, but still, consistency. Recently, I found myself researching different types of locomotives that I found interesting. And this all happened to start with the Class 13, and Ping mentioned a lot on Twitter. So I figured it'd make a good start for this little series. Like I said in the intro, the Class 13 was basically two Class 08s pushed together. But there is a bit more to it than that. That's more of a face value description. The British Rail Class 13 was a type of diesel electric shunting locomotive, and was designed in 1965. This being because the marshalling yards at Tinsley needed more powerful locomotives. Because of Tinley's status as a hump yard, it wasn't possible to use a single locomotive due to the risk of grounding. So, in an effort to achieve the required power, a pair of Class 08 shunters were permanently coupled in a master and slave formation, with the slave unit having its cab removed. Both units were then ballasted to improve traction. Initially, these designs were coupled cab to cab. However, it was found more practical to couple master nose to slave cab, thus leading to the more common formation we see here. While the slave unit in the front was powered, control to the locomotive was kept in the master unit, and it would be here where the operators would operate the engine. A total of three units were built at Darlington Works, that being the builder and rebuilder of the class, and on average the locomotives had a length of about 60 feet 1 inch. They would operate with vacuum brakes, and could achieve top speeds of about 20 miles per hour. However, what the locomotive lacked in speed, it more than made up for in tractive effort, coming in at a maximum of 70,000 pounds, and a brake force of over 37 long tons. The engines were numbered D4500 to D4502, later 13001 to 13003, but would be retired between 1981 and 1985. With the end of hump shunting at Tinsley, the class would become obsolete. The unique qualities of the locomotives were not required elsewhere, so withdrawal of them was honestly inevitable. 13002 was withdrawn in 1981, with the remaining two locomotives going with the closure of Tinsley Hump in 1985. None of this unusual class would survive, and all three units would end up scrapped. Honestly, a sad fate for such a unique locomotive, but nonetheless something a rail fan can still marvel at. As simple as permanently coupling two locomotives together sounds, it worked quite effectively, and helped to create one of the most powerful and most unique shunter designs the history of railroading has ever seen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I have a new splatter and dodge head cannon to develop. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. And if you guys like this type of video, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. I would love to make more of them. Also, let me know if there's any unique locomotives you think I should make a video on. Right now, I'm torn between the Fowler class and the Dean Good class just because they're some of my favorites, but I'm really open to anything. So, if you have a suggestion, be sure to let me know. If you guys would like to research these locomotives yourself, I'll have the sources linked in the description. And as always, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.